food we've all been waiting for, isn't it right? John Road, pork ribs uh, and, a, and a potato and Friday salad. ribs. Da -da. Ribs, barbecue sauce, which you've got in your hand, a really quick barbecue sauce that you make yourself. A potato salad made with mustard and mayonnaise. You can if you want. I'll give it a little try first. Oh. Do a little dip and, dip and strip, just, you know, whatever you want to do. But we're going to do ribs because I think a lot of people get ribs and they think they're really tough and they don't work for... Just eat, Alice. Don't worry. Any way you like. You do whatever you want to do. Um, pork Ooh. ribs. So and you can use beef ribs if you want to. Pork ribs are a lot faster. Buy pork ribs with a little bit of meat on them. Just ask your butchers rather than just the rack of ribs. Yeah. And then if you do a rack of ribs, then cut them into groups of four or five. I've got a mixture of some water some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, some sherry, and some brown sugar. That's it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of ginger, some garlic, um, some star anise. If you don't have star anise, don't worry about it, and a couple of sticks of cinnamon. Put them in some boiling mm -hmm. water, a little bit of water. All the recipes, of course, are online, so that's easy enough. Drop them in, and we're going to make like what I call an infusion. Is that why they're so tender, because you put them in the water? Yeah, I cook them for about an hour and a half first, and then we're going to leave them overnight, if you want to, and then we're going to cook them again. Okay. The Chinese call it twice cooked. What you'll find in anything on a bone, if you take an old Chinese recipe, they're yeah. usually about 2,000 years old, which means it probably works. Yeah. It's been going for quite a long yeah. time. They're very good at roast stuff. They're very good at things like uh, ribs and stuff. So this is exactly what they do. So you start with this mixture of cinnamon, star anise, ginger and garlic. You add to that your soy sauce, your sherry. Now, what's happening here is your soy sauce has got sugar in it. Sherry's got alcohol in it, but it helps to tenderise. Uh, the sugar, because when we reduce the sauce, it makes it go sticky. And then oyster sauce, because it's lovely and flavoursome, that goes into a pot. And then all you do then, and this is the easiest thing of the lot, is you literally take your pork ribs, you don't need to do anything to bones, don't do anything at all, yeah. and you dump them in. Dump them in, give them a little stir around, make sure they're covered with liquid, and then you literally put those on the stove like that, bring them to the boil, and then turn it down to what I call a low simmer. What's what I call a tick. It's sort of just see the water moving just a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you want it to do... I oh, bought you a present. There you go. Just in case you sort of need something else. I've had a whole rib already. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, so good. Put a lid on it. Now, if you are busy and you don't want to worry about the stove, that's fantastic because that can go in the oven at 160 degrees for two hours and you don't have to touch it and then you take it out. So, that, so that you're, you're cooking them there, really, aren't you? You're cooking so them. That's the first there. cook. Mm. But the thing is, then you've got no colour. They're not sticky yet. Sure. And you've got mm -hmm. the stuff around the outside. So what you end up with is you end up with this. You end up with this mixture, which is very, very watery, very, very, you know, loose, and you have this thing which is... So there's our ribs ready to go. And you just take them and you put them and lay them into a tray. Now, at the moment, they look quite big, but they will actually shrivel up to the size that you've got. Uh -huh. Put them into a tray and put them into the oven at about 180. Every so often, maybe just check, you know, the temperature if you want to. And put them in the oven and just let them go. And whilst they're in the oven, you take that liquid and reduce it down. You put it in a pot and you make it lovely and thick and sticky. They go in the oven. For how like long? That. For how long in the oven? They go in the oven for another 40 minutes. But just turn them every so often and then our sauce... If we will they brown it down, in there now, then? They will brown, but add a little bit of the sauce to it. Just every so often, a bit of that sauce goes across the top. The oven's not been on very long, so that's fine. A bit of sauce, and away you go. That's done. In she goes. So good, aren't And off you go. So good. So we haven't really had to worry about pots boiling or anything like that. It's all cooking away. And now it's, now it's going to be finished. Those ribs are finishing in the oven. That's great. We're going to make a really quick barbecue sauce, really quick. Mm. While we do this, can I ask you very briefly about your mm. Ireland show, which I'm... Ah! Super so is this the... You, you're travelling around Ireland seeing the food they have over there? I'm, going, I'm doing six one-hour programmes for um, uh, Food Network in Ireland. Oh. Starts on the 19th. Great. It's our neighbour. We never go to it. It's beautiful, the coastline. I travelled all around it over about... Uh, five months. I went last August all the way through to January, backwards and forwards, and it was amazing. I absolutely Food scene loved over it. there is outrageous as well. Food's it? so cool. That's yeah, great. Really cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's, they uh, have ribs over there. Like, I, you know, I, when I go home, we, we quite often in, in pubs they bring out but the, like, the, like the gammon ribs. You know, ham ribs. Oh, look, gammon. Gammon is very different, isn't it? Gammon you get with mustard sauce, you get mm -hmm. it cold. Salt beef, which I really, really love. A bit of honey on it. That would uh, be nice. Gorgeous. Woo! Absolutely beautiful. Barbecue sauce, back to our barbecue sauce, soy, Worcestershire sauce, tomato ketchup, brown sugar, a little bit of chilli sauce, spoonful of paprika, put the whole lot in the stove, bring it to the boil, take it off, you've made your own barbecue sauce. Wow. That it's as simple lovely. as that. Now, that recipe you can use for anything you want. You could put that little barbecue sauce over a bit of salmon and then just put it in the oven and Chicken. bake it. Chicken. anything you want at all. So, barbecue sauce is made, 
Uh, ribs are in the oven, they're yep. cooking away. Let's talk potato salad. I love potato salad. Me too. So bacon and potato salad, I think, is really important. Bacon, because bacon gives flavour. But what you, comes out of the bacon when you cook it? Fat. Uh, fat. Correct. Mayonnaise, the bacon fat, then the vinegar, oh. and you mix the two together with a little tiny bit of cream. Oh, yeah. And then it's like making These a cocktail, isn't it? See? So good. If I was a, if I was a, like, a cocktail barman, <laughs> I'd do really Dijon well. Dijon in there, is that... Dijon mustard, oh, of which wow. presently there seems to be a shortage, everybody. What? Just so you know, you Lit. can't get in a supermarket anywhere. Uh, although I did find that. Mix your mixture together like that so that you've got your base. Potatoes. I'm going to implore everybody, please. When you do a potato, a little potato like this, cook them whole. Don't cut them in half and try and cook them. If you cut them in half and try and cook them, for some reason or other, they stay really hard. Oh. Cook them whole and then they let them cool in the sink. Don't, don't, not, not in the water. It's little tricks like that, isn't mm. it? And then do that, mix that all together, and then we're going to stir don't that. Don't need to pierce it or anything like no, that. Nothing. Boil them up. Let Brilliant. them cool a little bit. Cut them in half. There's that lovely sauce. Then you're going into our bacon. We're going to add to that some spring onions. Yeah. So we've now made our ribs, which are in the oven. And uh, potato salad? Potato salad. Our barbecue sauce is here. Now, our ribs, as you've already eaten them, and I know you've eaten them, that's that. Goes there. But this is proper, proper ribs. Now, what happens is they come out oh, and they're those. sizzling like look this, you see. Of those. And if Beautiful. you just keep on stirring them around like this, and then you just pile them all up nice and high, that's absolutely fine. And then you just do your potato salad on the side. And should you leave what, those rest, John? Or? I was going to say, whatever you do, don't pick it up because you will actually hurt your fingers. In the meantime, have a nice time. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Enjoy the sunshine. It's beautiful outside. And that is delicious. Well done, Absolute John. Absolutely. Those better. are just Thanks. beautiful. Worth aren't waiting they? for, John. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, listen, for all those recipe details today and more delicious ideas from our chefs, just download the free This Morning app. Mm -hmm. It's great.